it's only been six days since the Acolyte was released on Disney+, Plus, and it's already been an embarrassing disaster for Disney Star Wars and for Lucasfilm, just as so many fans predicted it would be in the lead-up to this show. Once we heard what it was about, who was involved, Leslie Headland, the activist, the feminist, the lesbian director and showrunner who would be inserting her agenda into the series. Oh, and by the way, she's also the former personal assistant to Harvey Weinstein. Great people you're hiring over there at Lucasfilm. But despite that, despite the fact that it was rejected by fans, the lowest ever audience score for a Star Wars project, it didn't stop Disney and the mainstream woke media from trying to trick people into thinking it was actually a massive success. So of course, we started to see the damage control, a number that we've never seen released by Disney ever. They told us, hey, by the way, we're really impressed with the first day viewership of the Acolyte. The Acolyte reaches 4.8 million views in one day, the biggest Disney Plus launch of 2024. And despite the fact that they've launched nothing of note in 2024, the highest profile release in 2024 was Echo. And that was the lowest rated Marvel series in history. It's like being the smartest retard or the tallest midget. That is not a factor that means anything. It didn't matter to the mainstream media. They try to convince everyone that it's a massive success. The Acolyte delivers most first day views of any 2024 Disney Plus launch. Review bombing of the Acolyte has not stopped at breaking an impressive Disney Plus viewership record. And there were some people out there, namely myself, who saw this and saw right through it and said, this is bullshit. They're using funny math. They didn't even give the premiere, the first episode viewership. They gave the series viewership. So they may have included the second episode views as well in that number, a number that we had nothing to compare it to. This was cagey. This was shady. They were trying to use funny math to make it look like it was a success. Well, guess what? Fuck you. I was right. All those Disney Star Wars shills and seals that were clapping out there saying, look at how impressive this is. This is amazing. It's such a big success. You are wrong. You always were, but now we have the fucking proof. The first episode of The Acolyte reached 11 million views in its first five days, almost 3 million short of what Ahsoka achieved in the same amount of time. But The Acolyte still represents Disney Plus' biggest series premiere of 2024, however. Congratulations. Like I said, that's like being the tallest midget. You can go back and watch that video that I did three or four days ago, breaking down why I thought that number that they put out was meaningless and didn't mean shit, and they were likely trying to trick everyone. And for a lot of these low-information, low-IQ fucks out there, that may have worked, but all you had to do was a little bit of thinking, and you should have realized that that was not the case. I tweeted that out just an hour ago. Almost like all those clapping seals who fell for Disney's bullshit PR spin job over the Acolyte numbers are fucking retarded, because they are, clearly. You have to be. There's no other explanation. Here's the new headline, like we said. And look at this edit they make. Update. Although it initially appeared the Acolyte may have had a stronger debut than Ahsoka, Disney shared the first episode of its latest Star Wars series, reached 11.1 million views in its first five days, almost 3 million short of what Ahsoka achieved in the same amount of time. No, you are the people that tried to trick everyone into thinking that it was better than Ahsoka's premiere. And also, by the way, we should get into those numbers, shouldn't we? Because they pulled this same thing for Ahsoka. They tried to make us think because they never released this number before, 14 million in those first days, in those first five days. They never released numbers like that before. And everyone said, oh, it must be incredible. It must be glorious. Well, guess what? When it actually came down to it, that was the least watched Disney Star Wars premiere ever on Disney+. Plus, On par with Andor, which increased viewership over time, as opposed to Ahsoka, which fell off significantly. New data reveals Ahsoka's weak viewership versus other Star Wars shows. Well, you know, move aside Ahsoka, we've got a new king of the losers, and that's the Acolyte. So Ahsoka, which had the lowest premiere viewership we've seen of any of these shows, that just got toppled by the Acolyte, and not by a small margin. By 3 million. We're talking 20, 25% fewer people tuned into the Acolyte than into Ahsoka. After all these people tried to convince you, tried to lie for Disney to convince you that it was a hit, now we have the reality. The Acolyte 
already is a massive, colossal failure. And do you think that word of mouth is going to help this or hurt it? In all likelihood, it's going to hurt it. And we see Disney play this same game over and over. We saw it with the Echo series. They did the same thing, tried to convince everybody it was a success until real numbers had to come out somehow, some way. And we realized, oh, that's probably the least viewed Marvel show ever on Disney+. Plus. So now not only do you have The Acolyte being the worst rated by the people that saw it, the lowest audience score of any Star Wars project in history, but now officially, now that they reveal this and you can piece together this information, it is the least viewed that we've ever seen in history. A new low, but this is what happens when you focus on everything other than the story itself. When you don't go out to create a well-written series with compelling characters that is rewarding to Star Wars fans and honors George Lucas's legacy, And instead, you try to make Star Wars into something it's not. You make it an activist project. You make it a feminist project. You put all your bullshit politics in there. Your real world experiences as an unfuckable lesbian. That's what Leslie Headland said this show would be about. That's how it was promoted. That's how it's been pushed out. And it's been received incredibly poorly. No amount of lies and spin can affect the reality, which is the acolyte is a catastrophic failure. And now we can all see it for ourselves. Stop trusting these people, these news sites that will blindly parrot whatever Disney tells them. Like I said, we went over this three or four days ago. You guys should go rewatch that video. I'm going to put my video in the pinned comment below from three or four days ago so you can watch what I said when this news broke, when Disney tried to tell you that this was a success even though they gave us a number that they've never given us, those first day viewership numbers, even though they specifically did not delineate that it was the premiere episode and instead the series itself. So trying to combine numbers between the first and second episode that they said, well, it's the best thing we've seen in 2024 when they've released nothing of note in 2024. The whole thing was spin. And if you're not an idiot, you can see right through through that. So go watch that video and see in real time as I reacted to that initial report, you know, how I said I thought they were trying to trick the viewer or trying to trick the people that were reading it. And they were, they tried to trick everyone and it worked for some people out there. Unfortunately, they eventually had to get to the reality of the situation. And that's that the acolyte is the biggest Disney Star Wars disaster that we've ever seen. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.